Endgame. While remote neural monitoring of EEG fingerprinted human targets, brain reading, allows remote handlers to influence individual persons, the goal of the ruling class is to monitor and record all human life from birth to death in predictable simulations which appear to be utopian but are instead global slavery. As targets move about their personal and external environments, their habitual daily routines will be used to auto-generate terrain and environment models for GPS maps in 3D, containment ranges. Targets can be remote influenced to point to the corners and walls in their homes, offices, or any environment surrounding them to geospatially position their own biometrically located body, biospatial 3D target mapping. The level of dimensional biometric detail around a target's brain will improve to a level where targets can confirm their own retinal scans by placing their eye next to a mirror. Biometric displacement of the wireless network envelope around a human target is used to generate a detailed thermal image which confirms a person as alive, biothermal remote detection. The ruling classes and their government desire a public going about their daily routines, work, and romantic sexual encounters under perpetual and detailed wireless imaging, not knowing a society which had existed without it. Prison walls have disappeared into invisibility, since the prison is an environment which the population has been conditioned to from birth. Once entire populations have been both neurally monitored through brain reading and mapped on containment ranges, those in positions of access and control can remote influence persons to behave in ways which continually re-establish the power model, whether through government employment or obedience, or the futility of organized protest and controlled resistance, there are multiple methods to perpetually deceive a biometrically monitored public in a cage of illusions. Those in power can subject persons of interest to the most resilient and obsequious recorded brain activity through nationalized EEG pattern cloning, cross-nation EEG pattern theft, and identity theft. Identity theft of EEG patterns can remotely influence in one-one real-time a handler-target relationship, a through, to move a target like a human marionette, motion capture, and to have the target speak through the handler's mouth, ventriloquism. As biospatial 3D target mapping captures the motions of the target in their containment field, the addition of an eye-mounted camera can allow a handler to share the target's vision, controlling their movements and sensing their surroundings as telepresence. Telepresence through motion capture self-generated or through the placement of external biometric sensors, allows handlers to steal the visible information from any private or classified environment, and to use that environment data theft to continuously mislead, attract, and deceive other persons within it. EEG recording the brain activity of a person enduring physical torture can be transmitted to the target through a wireless brain-computer interface, BCI, as virtual torture. An enemy of the state or sentenced prisoner can be tortured during sleep, turning one's own home into a sentence of an imposed duration. EEG recordings of a torture victim's violent moment of death can be repeatedly transmitted to disintegrate a target's personality and sanity while located in the prison cell of their own home. Aggregated brain reading will be used on targets profiled to have an interest in certain consumer products sustaining and generating product sales to any chosen consumer demographic. Those targets will be remote influenced to visit a certain store, physical or online, and locate a certain area in that market to find the designated product. Remote Target Purchase Acquisition The sale must close with a purchase to confirm that the target was not browsing or casually shopping, but was buying as remotely directed. Wireless monitoring of the target's online shopping activity makes for much more dynamic consumer profiling. Once society has been conditioned from birth to allow those in power to monitor, record, and archive life to death, even allowing unknown persons to observe their sexual activity in detail, what remains is controlling that society to behave in ways which benefit those who define themselves as the leaders of a nation, religion, and or state. This will involve selecting persons highly skilled in the military intelligence and policing aspects of social control, educated and trained in the technological, social, and political needs of large, public, containment ranges. These select few, mega, 
will receive their missions and commands by silent orders wirelessly delivered to their brain via BCI and virtual telepathy, VT. Operations will be wirelessly conducted by VT involving the combined intelligence of multiple allied governments, allowing Omega to blend into society as any member of the public for optimal camouflage. To monitor and control entire societies, programmable or automated crowd simulations will be required for the select few to control brain readings unchosen many. As the public moves through and around state properties or near mega operatives, biothermal remote detection will automatically locate and target all biometrically detectable life forms. With entire populations biometrically identified, select groups can be analyzed to automatically and remotely influence persons within that group to attract, resist, or pay no attention to one another in simulated crowd movement. Massive. Armies, the paramilitary, mercenaries, and terrorist groups will be remote influenced as enemies in battleground warfare made irresistible through remote influencing, with nations competing for the most effective combat tactics made possible through BCI-linked military, intelligence, and policing minds. The might of nations and human identity itself to be determined through physical and mental endurance tests in gladiatorial battlegrounds involving fully militarized populations. Military ideology will saturate every aspect of engineered human evolution through biometric monitoring, EEG reconditioning, and remote influencing, luring desperate populations to reduce their numbers in VT-BCI wargames to kill themselves off. The artificial intelligence systems created by the Victorious will further reduce global population numbers for a new Earth, sustaining the select few who can survive on the planet's depleted natural resources. End game. Through mega and massive controlled attraction and resistance, the world's populations, perhaps even certain animal life, can be remotely directed and controlled to ensure the world's existing slave masters will never be unseated. Opcatalyst.net Truth is criminal.